guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then just welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I'd love for you to subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoy. This is kind of an impromptu video, sort of last minute. It is snowing like crazy, this is a side note. It's snowing like crazy. We live in Canada and so we're kind of known for winters and cold weather and the snow, but like we've, we've literally had next to nothing when it comes to snow this year, I say this year, like leading up to Christmas. In fact, we did not have a white Christmas. This is probably the best, like the most snow we've had <laughs> so far. And I'm over it because the holidays are over. So it is like a windy, blustery mess out there. And we just got home from dentist appointments and my hair was just everywhere. So it, it is up in a bun. This is how we are going to be. I had done some Instagram stories about how we had taken a trip to Ikea. We don't have an Ikea very close to us, so we don't go very often. So we took a trip to Ikea because we have been working on the little girl's room. If you don't know, I have six kids and our littlest one, she just turned three not too long ago. And she is still in the bedroom with Mike and I, like my husband and I, um, and she still sleeps in a crib because it's one of those things where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> By the time you get to baby number six, you're just not worried about things like that. So she still sleeps in her crib and she is still currently in our bedroom. The plan all along though, we have the older two girls sharing, then we have our boys sharing, and then Avia is the second youngest and this is currently her room. The plan was always going to be that eventually they, her and Everly were going to share a room. So we have been in the process of getting her room or their room ready because uh, since we've moved into this house, we never really did anything with this room, kind of anticipating, do you know what I'm saying? That we were going to fix it up once the two of them were in it together. So the time has come. It's taken quite a while just because life, <laughs> but we are getting there slowly, but surely you can probably see a little, little hint of it in the back, but that's not even going to stay. There's a lot of things here that are kind of just here and I'm surrounded by just toys and dollhouses and organizing things. But I asked over on Instagram, if you don't follow me there, it's just Modern Mom for Life. I asked over on there if anybody was interested in an Ikea haul because we went into Ikea. The intention was to buy things for the girls room, um, which we did, but it's like, when you go into Costco or when you go into Target and you always leave with things other than what you intended to go in for. And so <laughs> that's how this trip went. I thought I would do a fun uh, Ikea haul for you guys. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So I have bags and stuff and I'm just gonna start pulling from things and I will show you. And if I remember the prices, uh, I'll try to let you know. So I homeschool the kids if you didn't already know that. So we have a homeschool room and we kind of have the desks like lined up. Uh, we have like three desks lined up on a wall and then another de like three desks lined up on another wall. And we have a window in there and an overhead light and it's pretty well lit in there. But we also have a couple of desk lamps on two of the kids' desks. Nobody else has any lights on their desks and so we found these at Ikea. My husband was actually like, do you think the kids would like lamps on their desk? I had originally not wanted it just because I didn't want it taking up like a lot of space. But these are pretty low profile. They're just these like, I don't know. They're just like a metal called part. And you can't really see the tip of it, but like it's bendable. So it's kind of like a, if you almost like if you think of like a, no, a nozzle of like a faucet or something like that, it'll bend. So you can kind of bend the arm, but it, it's just as thin as this. And I think it's an LED light. Yeah, I think it's an LED light. So we got two white ones for my daughters. And then I thought we had a third white one, but I guess my son won black. So he got one in black. I believe these were $19.99 each. So got three of those my son's room they have a it's the calyx shelf i think it's an eight cube uh it's the calyx and ikea makes like a ton of variations you can get all kinds of sizes in them they have one in their room the boys um in the black and they have like some bins at the bottom but they've had them for a while and they're kind of just like out of shape and sort of like ripping so I picked them up two more of the, this is the bins they have, but they just have them in the black. So I picked them up in this blue color. 
just two of them because they kind of have the rest of the shelves open like with books and stuff like that. It's mostly my youngest son that uses these for like toys. So I picked up this blue color because um, it kind of matches the wall of their room and it's called the Drona. So it's just like a fabric, kind of a cube uh, basket thing bin and it fits like perfectly. It's basically made for that Calyx shelf. So I got two of those for them and I think these are $5.99 each. So they're like a really good deal. And then speaking of the Calyx shelf, that was really the main reason why I wanted to go to Ikea because I wanted to get one for the girls room. So we ended up getting one for the girls room. It's actually over here in this big box here ready to be assembled. Um, we got theirs in white and it is also the eight. Yeah, it's eight. It's an eight cube um, shelf. It's actually going to go behind me in between their beds and it'll serve as storage and it'll also serve as like instead of a nightstand, do you know what I'm saying? That's why that's gonna go. Um, so that'll be in between their beds and then they'll have all kinds of places to put all their little knickknacks and toys and all that. We're actually having a sale on all their like storage um, type things. So I think it was like $89, but it's normally $100. So we just scored with that. So my plan was to fill the, po the bottom four cubes with baskets and then leave the top four cubes open for whatever books and to some of their toy sets and things like that for them i ended up going with these um baskets and i don't okay it's called the navis the navis but it starts with a g um and they're like a wicker i guess like a wicker kind of uh material that's basically what it looks like because i wanted to bring in some you know the like natural sort of wood kind of wickery kind of color into their room so got four of those and another thing we got was this and this is actually like oh i mean it's sold as like a picture ledge it's called the moss landa and yeah that's basically what it is it's a picture ledge you just kind of like screw it to the wall and then it's got like a little i'm gonna like wax them it's got whoa it's got like a divot in here so that like if you put picture frames in it it kind of has like a little place to sit you know what i mean but it also has like a lip at the front so regardless like it's not like they would slip off but anyway my older girls have one of these in their room and we just love it because we do put pictures on there they even put like some of their dolls are like sitting on there um it's just kind of it's just a nice little spot to put things like on the wall without having to screw into the wall more than you have to. The plan is to put this above, like on the back wall, above um, the cube shelf. And I'm gonna style it with some photos and just random things like that. I keep slipping that paper in there. Um, got this, I think this was uh, $14.99. Did I tell you the boxes were $14.99? Yeah, the boxes for their shelf, I think were $14.99 each. And then this was also, I believe this was also $14.99. And it actually comes in a, a smaller size as well, but I wanted the big size. So got that in white. Now I'm reaching into the bags. This is like, I mean, some of it's random, some of it's still related. related. Okay, we picked, <laughs> picked up one of these silicone, we actually have one of these already, picked up one of these silicone um, mitts for the oven, oven mitts. I don't think it has a name. It doesn't have a name, but I think it was like $3.99, but we already have one. They're actually great. They work really great. They don't cover your whole hand, but it's like just enough that you can like pull things in and out of the stove. So picked up that $3.99. And then we also picked up this. I think, I think this was also $3.99. And it's just like a microwave plate cover and it has like the little vents on the top because they're so bad about like our microwave is always a mess. And so um, we got that for for covering plates. And now Everly, if you hear crying, by the way, <laughs> Mike is with the children, but he texted me right before I started filming and he was like, Everly's falling asleep on the couch, except that it's like 730 and it, she can't be falling asleep on the couch. It's a bad time. So he's in the process of trying to wake her up. So if you hear crying, everything's fine. That's just what's happening. And now the dog is barking. So there you go. That's just a glimpse into our life. Okay. The next thing we got um, was this. It's like for um, like pans, you know, or like a wok. And you basically just like put it on top to 
keep the splatter at a minimum. It's called the Stable, the Stable. I don't remember how much this was because Mike actually just picked this up. We like to have pot stickers a lot, but they make a complete mess of the stove or yeah, the stove. Um, so we had been looking for one of these and there you go. Then we ended up getting, okay. So I was looking for bedding for the girls, like, like comforters, but I wasn't sure if I was going to go with like a comforter set or if I was going to go with a duvet and duvet cover kind of a thing. I ended up finding a set there that I really, really liked. And that kind of made the decision for me because it was a duvet cover set. So I picked up um, two duvets for each of the girls. These are the twin size. And I think that they were like 30, 32 or $34, something like that each. They were also on sale actually. And you can just like, you can pick the warmth, <laughs> how warm you want them. So this is like the least warm medium. And then this is like the warmest. So we went with the warmest. They're not down filled. It's just like a synthetic material. But anyway, yeah, so we went with two of these, but they have like a nice weight to them. Um, so I think they're gonna be, like I think they're gonna be nice and warm. But anyway, it's called the Grussblad. <laughs> the gross blood. So with, with two of those and then hopefully did I get these correctly? Please tell me. Okay. Well, they're kind of big, but it doesn't matter. We got two pillows. They already have pillows. I wanted to get an extra pillow because one will be like their sleeping pillow. And then the other one will just have like the, um, duvet set. You know how it comes with like a pillowcase, but it's more like decorative. I got these two. I didn't realize I got like a king size. I don't really think it's going to matter, but if it does, then I can just switch it out with some other pillow we have in the house. But I got two of these and they were only like $6.99. Got two of these and they're called the Hamp Dan. The Hamp Dan. Uh, yeah, so got two of those. Oh, okay. This is random. Got another light. We got a lot of lights, guys. This, uh, we got two of these actually. Yes, we got two, two of these. These are like um, clamp, clamp lights. You know what I mean? So they're pretty tiny. I can't open it up because it's taped, but it's called the Navel Navelinge, Navelinge. And they have like a little clamp on one end and it's a pretty like small, it's again, it's an LED light, but it's a pretty small light and it has like the neck that you can move around. My boys, because they sleep in bunk beds, um, so they don't have like easy access to like a light for reading at night that they can just like shut off. So um, they wanted like little reading lights that they could clip onto their beds and so. We got them reading lights and these were, I think, 10 bucks. All right, my desk was full, so I had to reset stuff up. I always do. I think I ended on the lights. Speaking of lights, we got these two lamps for the little girls. It's kind of hard to tell um, on camera, but they're like a very light, sort of a blush. I don't know. They're kind of in between a, they're like a mauvey blush peach color. It really is kind of hard. I feel like depending on where you hold them up, they take on like a different like shade. If Mike was here right now, he would be like, Jen, you just did it. You did not just say shade. I'm the queen of puns. That's all I'm going to say. That was totally unintentional. <laughs> By the way. This is called the lamp hand, the lamp hand. Um, and it's just like plastic or like acrylic. I don't know. I think it's plastic, but I was looking for something because it's like they're three and seven and I didn't really want like something that was super breakable. Like even that little light we have back there, Avia's had that in her room forever. And it's, um, it's like metal. Like the whole thing is made of metal. It's indestructible. We're still going to use that just in a different part of the room. Um, but just as their little, like, you know, night lights, little reading lights or whatever, we wanted something that was just not going to break easily. So, um, the little base is basically the same material as the shade and it just gives a really soft glow. Um, actually this is a picture of it here. Can you see that? Yeah. It's just all the same color. So I thought it was cute and they were $6.99 or $7.99. So we got two of those. And then um, picked up the LED lights to go with them. We got a spare. These say they're like 15,000 hours. So hopefully we won't need the spare, but we did just because like I said, we don't go very often. And I think that even these were 
like $3.99 for the pack. They were not very expensive. So we picked up those for their bedding. I love it. It's very plain, like it's, it's plain, but it's pretty much like what I was looking for. So this is the bedding we got for them. It is like a peachy coral kind of color. It's called the Angslja. <laughs> the Angslja. Um, and in the twin size, it feels kind of like linen. I don't think it is, but it ha like that's what it feels like. And it comes with the duvet cover and like I said, the pillowcase cover. It actually says the pillowcase cover is a queen size. So um, those, I don't know, those pillows I bought might be fine. But um, if you can kind of tell from behind me, we painted their room. It's a very, very light, light, light coral, like a shade of coral. And so I wanted to pull that in, but in varying shades, you know what I'm saying? And in different ways. So I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy to get all this um, on their beds and stuff like that. I don't actually remember how much these were. 39, maybe 39 each. 49, I think they were 39 each. Here's a random thing. This is a, does it have a name on it? No. This is like an iPad and a headphone stand. It's so random, <laughs> but it was like 299. And in the schoolroom, right, we have, we have an iPad and we have headphones for like different things, different activities. Sometimes the kids are on ABC mouse or whatever, or they're like, maybe following like a YouTube tutorial for something. I kind of just have the stuff there by my desk, um, but it's just sort of like sitting there. And so I just thought this was like a neat way to keep it a little bit, I don't know, just a little more organized. And I guess you could actually use it too. Like I never really thought about it, but you could kind of just put the iPad on here when you're using it as, as a stand. But basically the iPad can go in here and then the headphones can rest on top of here and you have like a little, like a little like electronic station. So we're gonna be using that in the schoolroom. It came in two different colors, this color and I think red or orange. So got that, it's just made of metal. Two more, well, I guess three more things, but I don't have one of the things here because it's huge and we already set it up. So I'll probably just film it and tack it on to the end of the video. So I got this, I think it was like $6.99. For $5.99 or $6.99. So it's actually supposed to be a rug, like a little, just a little mat, a little rug. And it's just like this beigey woven, um, you know, like just like a natural um, texture and color. And it has the fringe on the end, but I actually am going to use it on our dining table, like on our kitchen table. I usually have like, we don't really use like a tablecloth, but I'll usually have like a runner or something on there. But I thought this was, would kind of look cute. It just like in the center, um, you know, of the table. I don't know. If it doesn't, I'll use it as a rug somewhere. <laughs> but the intention is to use it on the table. So I thought that would look cute on the table with like our little centerpiece on top. And then the last thing that I have here to show you is this, um, napkin holder see I just thought it would leak like it you know it's just very natural and it has all the like natural elements to it so this is like a seagrass like is this seagrass I don't know I just really like the look of it it's simple but it's stylish and it's kind of cute and boho or I don't know I guess it can kind of farmhousey depending on how you want to style it um, it's called the sisan and it's just a napkin holder and Again, I think it was $3.99, maybe $4.99. Everything was about that price. And that, my friends, I'm trying to think, that is it. I'll show you one random thing. Where did the bag go? Oh, it's not from Ikea, but I'm just gonna throw it in here because it's um, kid room related. I was at Winners the other day, and the girls have like a tall dresser over here that they've had forever. It's actually part of like our original nursery set for the kids. And it's got six, no, seven drawers on it. And the poles are just like very basic, you know? I wanna keep it in here for them as storage. I like it because it doesn't have a very big footprint. It doesn't take up a lot of room. But anyway, but I was like thinking if I could find new knobs for it just to kind of like liven it up because it's kind of like a creamy color. I was looking for like a knob that would just style it a little bit and change it up a little bit. So I found these knobs, guys, okay? I got two packs of these 
because they only came in a pack of six and there's seven drawers. Ceramic knobs, handmade. They were on clearance for $5 for all of them. Like, can you see how beautiful they are? I mean, they're just gorgeous. Like the peachy kind of coral color and then they have like gold accents on them. They are just absolutely beautiful. So I got two packs of them. The only thing <laughs> was that the screw they came with is not long enough like to go through the thickness of the dresser door. So Mike has to somewhat like alter it, but still, because I was like, do you want me to just return it? And he was like, no, because you can't beat that price. So $10 for like 12 knobs. I'm, I'll find somewhere else to use the other knobs. <laughs> yeah, so that was the score. I was really happy with that. I just love how it's gonna tie in the room. It's just like a little detail, but you know, sometimes it's like those little things that like add character to the room. And that is pretty much it. Aside from that, I just have some pictures to hang. And I also have some pictures I wanna like um, blow up of the girls and frame to, to put in here as well. But yeah, everything that's coming along, we have the beds assembled, we have their like sheets on the bed. Uh, we just kind of have to like finish making the bed. And then once we get that um, dresser assembled, I can start organizing and putting all their stuff in there and we shall reveal it to them. They haven't been in here because they wanted it to be a surprise. So they haven't been in here since we've been working on it. So they're very excited about it. I'm excited to see their reaction. So most likely I will film a video. Probably, probably I will just film like a vlog on my other channel, but I plan on doing like a more detailed tour of the room um, on this channel. And then you guys can see the reveal, the reveal and how everything turned out and all of the things. So that's it. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these kinds of videos, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Ikea. Do you love it as much as I do? What have you picked up from Ikea? What's your favorite thing that I got at Ikea? Just let me know all the Ikea things. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a clip right now of the last thing that we got from there and you can see it. <laughs> the kids are watching <laughs> Ladybug, right? Needs yeah, okay. So this is the last thing um, that we picked up at Ikea. I don't know, do you remember what this light was called? What Ikea name was it given? <laughs> I don't remember what this is called. Um, but we desperately needed a floor lamp for our family room. The one we had has been here for years, way too many years and it was falling apart. Yes, you're getting, yes, you're having new beds. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. You guys are buddies. That's so nice. Anyway, so Mike actually picked this out. It's kind of cool because it like kind of looks like an old style spotlight sort of a thing. It's super heavy duty though. It's got like a ginormous base. You can actually adjust this and tip it like whether you want it facing up or down or how you want it. So it's slightly adjustable and it's just like a matte black okay. color so i think it's kind of cool that was our last purchase from ikea so anyway i hope you guys are doing well thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys